It has been more than a month since CBS News broke the story of lavish spending by the veterans charity Wounded Warrior Project. Chip Reed is in Washington with new developments. Chip, good morning. Well, good morning. The charity CEO, Stephen Nardizzi, has yet to comment publicly on the charges that he's overseen a period of excessive spending at Wounded Warrior Project. We've learned the charity is currently operating without a full-time chief financial officer. We sat down with two major donors who are demanding accountability. With two sons serving in Iraq, raising money for Wounded Warrior Project was more than a cause for Fred and Diane Kane. It was a calling. Since 2009, the Kane's charity, Tee Off for a Cause, raised $325,000 for wounded warriors through golf tournaments in the Carolinas. The organization even honored Fred Kane with an award for being a VIP donor. That's a big deal. Yeah. You were very proud of it. At the I time. was very proud. But allegations that only a little over half of donations went to help wounded vets came as a blow. And then hearing that there was this waste of money and donor dollars that should have been going to the um, servicemen and women that were injured, and it was spent on their having a good time. It, it, it's a real disappointment. Outraged, Kane canceled this year's benefit tournament and started a petition on change.org calling for a public audit. He also called senior management and said he thought CEO Stephen Nardizzi should be fired. I said, you know, where, where is he? Where is this guy? And he said, well, our, our public relations people told us that, you know, he, he really needs to, to, you know, not be involved. You lead from the front, good or bad. I said, you don't hide. I don't understand how an organization that has many veterans who value honor and service in the chain of command can be led by a guy like that. CBS News has learned Kane is one of several major donors who are ending their support. Should the board of directors have been keeping a closer watch? Oh, absolutely. I don't think there's any doubt. Sources with direct knowledge of the charity's operations said the board signs off on all the charity's major spending, including expensive staff retreats. Those sources also told us the board has spent donor dollars on its own meetings at five-star hotels, including the Beverly Wilshire Hotel in Los Angeles and the Waldorf Astoria in New York. They also said that when board members questioned spending decisions and executive salaries, their concerns were ignored. We tried to speak with each board member in person, but they declined. I believe it needs to be a forensic audit, not just some whitewash, you know, call in somebody that we're paying and just have them kind of put a rubber stamp on it. Are you done with Wounded Warrior Project? Yes, except for my new mission of trying to see change there. The board says it's ordered a review by independent auditors and that it would be inappropriate to answer questions until all the facts are known. Full disclosure, a CBS corporate executive serves on that board. The board won't tell us if the results of its review will be made public or whether the board's spending is under review as well. The board has also hired legal counsel. Nora? Chip, thank you. I think it's incredibly important that that review be transparent and made public. It doesn't sound like it necessarily will be, though. How do they not have a full-time CFO for an organization of that size? That seems very odd. I know the Wounded Warrior Project has done a lot of good things for our veterans, because I've done stories over the year, but this is a time when they should tighten the screws a little bit on how they spend the money. You know?